Hey. Okay, hi everybody, this is the whip with the first stage in the overclocking tutorial that I promised E6600 P5B um, First thing I should probably touch on is that you, you just want to make sure that the cooling setup's alright and always uh, use uh, the highest temperatures you're likely to encounter in a year in your climate I suppose so I, I live in Perth, Australia so it gets quite hot so I have to base it on high temperatures in summer Mind you, I'm air conditioned so you know, I'm, I base it on what I keep the house at as the highest constant. Um, coolers, CPU coolers. Uh, if, if you want to go stock you can still do a really awesome overclock. Uh, I recommend you go minimum of a Zalman 9500 or something but I highly recommend the, the uh, Thermal Ride Ultra 120. I believe they've brought out a bigger one since I got my one. Uh, that's probably better but probably uh, definitely weighs more. Uh, recommended weight for a CPU cooler is about 400 80 grams, I think. I think this is sitting on mine at about 800, and that's fine. Uh, one kilo is sort of pushing the limit to think a bit, I think. But uh, with your with your first step on the uh, overclocking, I, I'll you could probably just straight away put your front side bus up to 320 uh, and run from that, and, you, and I don't think you'd have any issues at all. Voltage doesn't need to go up, anything like that. But what I'll do is I'll run you through the the settings in BIOS that you probably won't know uh, as much about and uh, tell you how to configure those. I'll show you my BIOS screen. Okay. So what we're looking at here is we've got the um, advanced part of the BIOS, which is all we really need to have a look at at this point in time. Uh, now if you go to jumper free configuration, um, you want to set that to manual. This you want to put on 320. This is dependent on your RAM, of course. You want to run it at j just uh, initially. You might just want to leave that on auto, um, but I, I, I'd, I'd change it to whatever your RAM is uh, and closest to its actual frequency that you can get. Go. Even go, if you're going more than say 50 megahertz over its real frequency, you probably want to pull back to under just for this point in time. Uh, we'll, we can we can do, address that one a little bit later. Uh, PCI Express frequency. Now you want to leave that at auto at this point in time. Um, look, some people say you should always, we should never muck with that because that actually will affect your um, it's it's your your SATA and your PCI Express. So. Uh, some people have lost their RAID configurations apparently, I haven't encountered any problems but that's a fine tuning one you leave until last so uh, if we just put that up on auto for the time being not to confuse issues then we'll probably be better off there we'll change that to auto for you too <coughs> uh, PCI clock synchronisation I'd put it 33.33 megahertz spread spectrum turn off now these ones uh, memory voltage you just leave as is at the moment, CPU same, 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 you will be adjusting all those later. Okay. Now, if we go to CPU configuration, um, I sh might show you how to change the multiplier later but at this point in time leaving it at 9 is what you want to do. Um, you want that disabled, that disabled, your Vanderbilt pool technology, you want that disabled, but it can, can, uh, requires a complete restart in order to do it. So, just be aware. Uh, TM function enabled, execute disabled bit enabled, PECI disabled. Chipset. Now, if we've got your RAM on auto like we have at the moment, um, uh, you might just want to leave speed at auto, at enabled. And uh, like like I say, this is first stage. We'll get we'll get to that later. You will be adjusting it. Static read control disabled. Okay. They're the they're the ones you really want to be addressing and changing. Um, okay. So for this point in time, that'll end this part of it. Uh, post any comments on this. Uh, I'm not saying I'm the world's biggest expert either. Uh, I know there's people out there with more knowledge than me. If anyone who wants to um, post comments that don't agree with me, I'm more than happy with that too. I mean, anything you tell me that'll help me with my overclock maybe, but look, I, I, I really think I've got that part of it sort of sussed. 
um, I, um, I might get people's opinions differing, or but that'll probably happen more later. Um, so first part ended. Signing out from the web.